Hi, I'm Peter, one of the nurses on staff here at Health Partner Specialty Center, and uh, we're going to be demonstrating esophageal manometry so that you will know exactly what to expect when you come in. So I'm going to introduce Donna. She's uh, my senior partner here <laughs> and my torturer. So let's get started. The first thing that we do to help try to make you comfortable is um, <clears throat> give you some numbing jelly that'll be squirted up into your nose. Now, you'll find out about us, and we're not great salespeople. We're going to give you the straight dope. This stuff is kind of like snorting up some pool water, but you will be happy to have it because it is going to numb things up nicely for you. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> so, not the most comfortable thing. It's okay for grown men to cry. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I want you to swallow it down when it gets to the back of your throat. It'll make you feel like you have a stuffy nose, uh, but it tastes really dreadful, so don't spit it out into your mouth. Now this stuff, you can't help it, this does taste dreadful. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> and swallow. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Alright, we've had a couple minutes to let that numbing stuff kick in, both in my nose and in the back of the throat. So here's what's going to happen. Donna is going to guide this into my nose and I'm going to be drinking some water. Uh, while I take big gulps of water, she's going to be guiding this in. It's going to ride the waterfall right down into my food pipe. All right? Okay. You ready? All right, here we go. It actually doesn't hurt. There was some pressure in the back of my throat and some pressure in my nose. So what do I feel? Not a whole lot, honestly. With that numbing spray and numbing jelly in place, uh, there's a feeling of kind of like a post-nasal drip booger in the back of my throat that just doesn't clear out. So your body's natural inclination when this happens is to constantly swallow and swallow and swallow. Unfortunately, that doesn't help because, of course, this probe isn't going anywhere. So what you want to do instead is really concentrate on continuous breathing. Breathing in and out helps, one, suppress your gag reflex, which can also be tickled, but the numbing spray and jelly helps a lot with that. And number two, it helps suppress that desire to swallow. So now that we've got the probe in place, Donna's going to center the probe, doing some readings, uh, in the middle of my food pipe, right on my lower esophageal sphincter, and uh, then we'll get started with the swallowing study. So Donna has uh, established that she's centered on my lower esophageal sphincter. That's the circular muscle just above my stomach. And now we're going to start with the swallowing portion of the test. So we'll have 10 swallows of normal saline, so slightly salty water, and then 10 swallows of a slightly thicker viscous substance. So I'd like to talk about this, this viscous stuff. Now it, it looks delicious, I know. Um, it's, um, it's kind of like the consistency of a jello that's been sitting out on the counter for just a little bit too long. So it's room temperature, but it's got a kind of nice sweetness to it. So don't fear it. It's no ice cream topping, but it's not bad. Here we go. And as Peter swallows, there's an upper esophageal sphincter up here, and that's what you see first on the computer screen. And then the viscous slides down the esophagus, so that's the pressure of the muscles pushing on that to push food down. And then I'm waiting for it to come back to my baseline. And then we just give everything a few seconds to normalize again. And then we give them a second, another swallow. And in between, it's really important not to swallow. Just swallow one time when we give you the um, saline or the viscous. And then we'll let that reading go past and get another reading. So for removal of the probe, all you want to do is take a nice deep breath and blow your nose. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. And we're done. So that's esophageal manometry. The process usually only takes between uh, 10 and 15 minutes to complete, so it's really not all that bad. Um, when you're all finished, then uh, we give the, the study results to the doctor. He looks at them, and he'll usually get your results within the next 10 days or so.
All right, we'll talk about the uh, ambulatory pH test, which is probably why you're coming <laughs> anyway. This is the test that helps you figure out whether or not you're actually having acid reflux. Now, we need to do the manometry test first in order to determine where your lower esophageal sphincter is. Now, you've got a little circular muscle right on the top of your stomach that controls food and fluid going from your food pipe into your stomach. Now, if we place this probe, this is the overnight probe, if we place this probe too deeply in past that, that circular muscle, it'll actually be down in your stomach and look like you have acid reflux all the time. If we place it too high, then you'll miss out on all the reflux action that may be happening in this part of your esophagus. So we need to be able to place that probe right above where that muscle sphincter is in order to accurately find out how things are working in your esophagus. This is the probe. As you can see, it is much, much smaller than the esophageal manometry probe. It's very flexible, just like the other probe. It conforms nicely to the shape of your nose. That numbing jelly and spray are still very much at play in the back of my throat. So when we're done with, when we, after we place this with the measurements we got from the first test, what we'll do is we'll loop this up over your ear, run it down through your shirt like this. So you're going to look pretty, pretty well fantastic for the next 24 hours. <laughs> and plug it into this machine right here. This is the, uh, this will be your constant companion for the next 24 hours. It's not all that complicated. What this machine does is this is going to be measuring uh, all the reflux that's happening in your esophagus again for the next 24 hours. There are buttons here for you to push on your, your symptoms. We will customize the machine when you get here to, uh, for your personal symptoms. And also we'll have you track simple things like when you're eating and when you're standing up and lying down. You bring this back to us 24 hours later. It takes about two seconds to pull that thing out and then you're free to go. So again, we want you to feel free to call us with any questions or concerns. And uh, again, thank you for watching.